Hello, friends, and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to the Maison Citroën by Le Corbusier. In 1927, Le Corbusier designs House Number no. 13 at the Wiesenhof Housing Exhibition in Stuttgart, Germany. Known as the Maison Citroën, a pun on the name of the French Citroën automaker for the modern industrial methods and materials Le Corbusier advocated using for the house. Inspired by the details of modern trains and ocean liners, the house measures 16.4 feet wide by 38.5 feet long. Le Corbusier designed the Maison Citroën to be versatile, which explains why his designs appeal to the masses. His design is practical for a solitary figure or a family. The house is raised on slender columns known as pilotis with utility spaces on the ground floor. The kitchen and dining room on the first floor and the bedrooms on the second floor. The bedrooms are separate from the parts of the house associated with work to provide an area for relaxation and escape. The living room is a double story meaning there is an open balcony on the upper level looking down into the living room on the lower level. The balcony adds another dimension within the home, creating additional space. Le Corbusier designed a roof garden to include an area to house guests so that both the guests and the homeowners retain their privacy. This aspect of the design was revolutionary because it gave the homeowners the freedom to decide whether they wanted to socialize with their guests or maintain their privacy. Le Corbusier's attempt to make the home a kind of sanctuary directly resulted from the chaos and stress of World War I. Le Corbusier perceived industrialism and technology as improving society which is what he was attempting to do with the design of his house. The Maison Citroën especially was intended to improve the living conditions of people's everyday lives. Not only was the house designed to be efficient for people's day-to-day -day tasks, but it was also designed to be built with the materials that could be mass-produced and that were easily accessible, such as concrete. These factory-made, mass-produced items resembled parts in an assembly line revealing Le Corbusier's plan for the Citroën house to mimic not only the car's efficiency, but also its method of production. His intention to build a house with common materials would have made the Maison Citroën more affordable and more accessible to everyday people, which he hoped would improve society as a whole.